So what I wanted to present tonight here was a SWOT analysis of the Irish economy in the Brexit scenario. So the strengths that I looked at, for example, were our relationship with the EU and our relationship with the UK, as well as the infrastructure that we have right around the world to our embassies, Enterprise Ireland and the IDA. The weaknesses are, of course, the sheer volume of exports that we do and also the fact that 80% of goods that come in and go out of Ireland through exports and imports go through the UK. And what that means from the point of view of the decline in sterling, what could happen in terms of tariffs and also the physical logistics, customs and administration barrier. Then, of course, I wanted to look at the opportunities and a lot of the opportunities are being helped and provided for by the agencies like Intertrade Ireland, Enterprise Ireland, the IDA, Tourism Ireland, the local enterprise offices and so many others from a sector specific point of view. In addition, there are lots of opportunities outside of the UK. So Enterprise Europe Network, for example, in my case, has been hugely helpful along the way. And it does certainly help for us to look outwardly and like, uh, like IIBN does, is to bring that connectivity right around the world so that we can bring it right centre and fore. And then finally, of course, the weaknesses. The biggest weakness of all, I believe, as an Irish person that we are facing is the border, is what it means for business and what it means for peace and what it means for the entire um, cultural and social and demographic fabric that is in Ireland. And then the other two points as well that I mentioned were that we also need to keep an eye on what's happening with the future of Europe. It's important that we have got a good, clear voice there, that we know what's going on, that we make our views known and, and heard about. And then, of course, the final thread is that of uncertainty, is we do not know what's going to happen, but as business people, as the Irish diaspora, as, as people who are networkers and as people who are salespeople, business developers and employers, we can't afford to wait and just see what's going to happen. We have to take action today. So on that note, I want to thank you all so much for joining us tonight. Um, IIBN has truly been a remarkable organisation for me and my company, and I wish you and every single part of your own success the very best. Thank you, Marianne.